Hi, everybody. This is President Rick Bailey from Northern New Mexico College. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I am honored, humbled, super excited to welcome you to the 2020 High School Equivalency Program and Adult Education Program Virtual Graduation. Obviously, we would love to be doing this in person, and so we're really grateful for you joining us because we want to be thoughtful about the health and safety of our community, but we're really still I'm um, super excited that you're joining us and, and allowing us to share in this celebration of these amazing scholars. To kick off the program, uh, it's my honor to introduce our national anthem singer, James Martinez, uh, who is a member of the band Los Cavaliers, a March 2019 graduate from our high school equivalency program, and just completed his freshman year at Northern with a 3.33 GPA majoring in environmental science, and just welcomed his second child into his family. Uh, it's a real honor to welcome, and thank you in advance, James Martinez. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched are so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the last Thank you so much, James. We appreciate you, and thank you for sharing your talent with us. Uh, now I want to take a moment to recognize some amazing educators, um, without whom none of this would be possible. I, I'm speaking specifically about our uh, high school equivalency program and adult education program leaders and staff. Uh, from the high school equivalency program, Shari Job, director. I'll talk about her in a minute. Jennifer Garcia Velasquez, Program Coordinator, Patrick Bendigay, Lead Instructor, Karin Archuleta, Instructor, and Nicole Leba, Office Assistant. And our Adult Education staff, Robert Freeman, Director of Adult Education, Sandy Sanchez, Adult Education Program Coordinator and Instructor, Christian Olivas, Data Entry Clerk, Julianne Wagner, Instructor, Dr. Ekaterina Backhaus, Instructor, and Natalia Backhaus, Student Instructor. Every, just, every single person I just mentioned um, have come together to form a team that is the living embodiment of what it means to lead with both your heart as well as your mind. Um, it is, from a personal standpoint, it is a personal privilege to be able to work with them um, and to serve with them. Um, and, uh, and they are beautiful role models for our community. So wherever you are right now, um, all of you tuning in, please give a special uh, round of applause. I know our graduates uh, recognize the value of the people I just mentioned, and we're all incredibly, our whole community is incredibly grateful for all of them. Uh, so now I have the privilege of introducing our adult education student speakers, uh, Carl Benavides and Dana Meyer. Carl was born in Santa Fe, raised in the Española Valley. He's an aspiring entrepreneur who hopes to open a coffee shop in the valley. Uh, someday soon. And Dana was born in Sinaloa, Mexico, has lived around New Mexico and now and Sinaloa and is now residing in Española and currently taking classes at the University of New Mexico in Los Alamos. We're very, very happy to have them and it's my pleasure to introduce to you Carl and Dana. Hello staff, family, friends, and faculty. And to my fellow graduates, congratulations. We did it. 
This has been one of those goals that we have been fighting to accomplish for quite some time. For me, three attempts and 20 years in the making, at 45 years old, I did it. Due to the circumstances, this may not have been the graduation that we earned, but we are grateful for the one that we have been given to show our proud accomplishments. I would like to share something with my fellow graduates that was once said by a very smart man by the name of Steve Jobs. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and your intuition. Stay hungry and stay foolish. Thank you and have a great day. Hello, first of all, I would like to congratulate the 2019 and 2020 graduates. You did it. My name is Dana Mayer and I too graduated from the adult education program at Northern New Mexico College. I started classes in the summer of 2019 and was determined to accomplish my high school equivalency diploma before the fall semester started so I could begin my college journey. Thanks to my dedication, consistency, and hard work, and all the support and help I received from faculty, I was able to accomplish my goal. Today, I am a student at the University of New Mexico, Los Alamos campus, where I serve as a student government member and am a part of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. As a resident of the city of Española, I am beyond grateful to have a program like this offered in my community where you are not only taught the materials needed for test taking, but also given career preparation courses, job skill training, and internship opportunities. Personally, I would like to thank all the faculty who taught and guided me while I was there, but I owe a special thanks to Sandy Sanchez and former director Cindy Leva, as they were the ones who truly helped me decide what future steps I needed to take to continue my education. Hold your head up high and be proud of this accomplishment. You and I know it was not easy, but we did it. And again, congratulations, fellow graduates. Thank you very much, Carl and Dana, uh, and congratulations. Uh, now it's my pleasure to introduce our high school equivalency program student speakers, Nancy Archuleta and Desiree Sanchez. Uh, Nancy is a December 2019 high school equivalency program graduate. She's completed her first semester at Northern New Mexico College with a 3.9 GPA majoring in early childhood education and she's a mother of two. Desiree Sanchez is a December 2019 high school equivalency program graduate and completed her first semester at Northern with a 3.3 GPA majoring in psychology. Um, for our audience, this is a mother and daughter who both completed this project together. We are super proud of both of them. We're honored to have them as our student speakers. So it's my pleasure to introduce Nancy and Desiree. Hello, fellow Heppies family, friends, and Hep family, Shari, Jen, Nicole, Miss Kate, and Patrick. We just wanna say congratulations to all of you graduates that made it this far. We know it's been a tough four months and we just wanna say, hang in there. We're all in this together and we got this. We got this. My name is Nancy, I'm 41 years old, and this is my daughter. My name is Desiree, and I'm 21 years old, and we both know what the struggles are like in high school. We both attained our HSE through the wonderful HEP program. No regrets there. I originally went to sign Desiree up, and when she was doing the paperwork, I said jokingly that I should sign up and go back to school, and she told me, do it, Mom. We can do it together, and Nicole mentioned sign up if you don't like it you don't have to continue so i signed up and i loved it we both know what it's like to not finish high school i didn't finish because of a common situation known as bullying and my mom felt it was in my best interest to take me out of school and i did not finish high school because i was lacking three credits to graduate my counselor told me that i was better off dropping out because i was going to end up barefoot and pregnant something that a counselor should not tell a student. He should be pushing you to stay in school, not to tell you to drop out. That was the last time I stepped foot in that class. Shortly after not being in school for about six years, I developed social anxiety. I decided it was time to get my life back and as hard as it was, I ended up loving it and it helped my social anxiety tremendously. The HEP staff are amazing. They have faith and confidence in you and give you that boost and love you need the most. I decided to get my HSE. I had always wanted to go back to school, and since my kids are grown, I decided to focus on myself a little bit more. 
Never say you can't do it because you can. It was the best decision I made and I would do it all over again if I could. After attaining our HSE, we signed up for college classes. We are now in our third semester in college. I signed up to get my degree in early childhood education and I should have my associates by the fall of 2021. I signed up to get my degree in psychology. I know what depression and anxiety feel like and I want to help those who feel the same way. I want to let them know they're not alone and will overcome this battle. We hope our stories can inspire someone out there who thinks that they cannot do it or that it's too late. Guess what? You can. You just have to take that first step and we encourage you to take that first step. You will not regret it. Well, graduates, we did, we did it. it. Congratulations and reach for the stars. You are worth it. God bless and hope to see you guys soon. Yes. Thank you very much, Nancy and Desiree. And now I have the honor of introducing the leaders uh, of these amazing programs, Robert Freeman and Shari Joe. Robert Freeman, uh, the director of the Adult Education Program, um, who has been here very recently, who, who arrived here very recently, but has already made this program um, uh, amazing through his leadership. Um, Shari Job has been the captain of our high school equivalency program ship uh, since I've been here um, and embodies everything I just mentioned about leading with heart and 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 educating students through love. Uh, there's no other way to say it and 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 has a legacy um, that is second to none. Um, so uh, it's an honor to serve with them, honor to work with them. Uh, without further ado, Shari Job. Hi everyone, it's Shari Job, Director of the High School Equivalency Program. As we can't celebrate your success in person yet, I am so happy that we have this opportunity to recognize your accomplishments with this slideshow. In preparing for this slideshow, I was asked to make my speech short and sweet. You want Shari to what? I laughed. Well, they were serious approximately two minutes. There went my stories about a push-up bra and Spanx, pole dancing, and hodasos in the parking lot. It got worse. Let's just say, don't give yourself a quarantine haircut if you don't know what the hell you're doing. Okay, let's get this two-minute party started. 2019-2020 HSE graduates, congratulations on all that you have accomplished. 70% of all graduating high school seniors in the United States cannot pass the high set exam. This means that all of you are part of the elite 30% nationally that have passed. Congratulations from all of us. Will those that passed your HSE last semester please stand? Let us congratulate you and recognize you as fall 2019 graduates. Will those of you that have joined the military or are currently in the process of enlisting, please stand. We sincerely thank you for your service. Will those of you that have upgraded employment or gained employment because of your HSE, please stand. Earning money for your skills is a great feeling. For those working essential jobs in government and healthcare, at grocery stores, community utilities, and in other vital workplaces, we sincerely thank you and please stay safe. Will those of you that have completed your first semester or first year of college, please stand. Let us commend you for this, and we are wishing you continued success. Last but not least, will those of you who have children, attended class every day, worked, usually graveyard shift, please stand. Let us celebrate your dedication and perseverance. The journey you all took to get to this point required determination. Finding that determination within yourself was your doing. You may have had family members or friends that encouraged you, but the end result was all because of you. Never forget how resilient or how strong you are. For those who follow, be an example of what dedication means. Heplings, 
on behalf of the HEP team, the incredible Jennifer, Patrick, Karen, and Nicole, we are so proud of you. It has been such an honor, privilege, and brings us such joy to have known each and every one of you. Thank you for sharing your journey and life with us. We can't wait to see what the future holds for you. I leave you with this. Live with purpose. Be kind to everyone every day. Remind yourself that each of us has a crucial role in fighting this pandemic. Please wear your face mask and practice social distancing. Graduates, please stand, throw your hats in the air, and do the floss. Thank you, Shari. And now the moment we are all here for, a chance to celebrate the 2020 graduates of the High School Equivalency Program and Adult Education Program. Um, as we hear all of these names, I want you to, to keep in mind how much these students have sacrificed to be where they are today. Uh, I want you, the graduates, to know just how important you are as role models to all of us and to the rest of this community. Um, I want you to share the message and share your stories with everyone else because we can all learn from your accomplishments. And we know that you celebrate today not just for your own accomplishments, but all of your friends, family, loved ones, everyone who was with you on this journey. This is a celebration of them as well. Uh, so again, congratulations from all of us at Northern New Mexico College. God bless you all. And now it's my honor to introduce the High School Equivalency Program and Adult Education Program graduates of the class of 2020. Aliani Swensel. Alex Alamasu. Alexis V. Hill. Alyssa Lucero. Andrea Espinosa. Angel Valdez. Antonio Cerna. Ariana Martinez. National Honors. Ashley Jones White. National Honors. Bernadine Lovato Frahua. Brandy Garcia. National Honors. Brianna Padilla. National Honors. Carl Benavides. Carlos Trujillo. Carlos Ulubari. Cassandra Martinez, National Honors. Cecilia Nahira. Christopher Garcia, National Honors. Cipriano Marquez, National Honors. Christian Olivas, National Honors. Cipriano Herrera. Dana Mayer Lamas, National Honors. Desiree Sanchez. Diamond Pedraza, National Honors. Diego Acosta, National Honors. Dominic Chavez, National Honors. Elisama Cano. Esteban Romero, National Honors. Evelyn Torres, National Honors. Fatima Quesada Alcantar, National Honors. Frisco Abeta, National Honors. Gabriel Romero, National Honors. Gladys M. Powers, National Honors. Haiti Gomez 
Alvarado, National Honors, Iran Enriquez, Isaiah Delgado Flores, National Honors, Jacob Vigil, Jamie Muniz, National Honors, Jasmine Naranjo, Jasmine Sena, Jeanette Delgado, Jeremiah Montoya, National Honors, Joel Fernandez, National Honors, Jonathan Nelson, National Honors, Jordan Valdez, Jose Ruiz, National Honors, Joseph Garcia, Joseph Leba, National Honors, Josefina Petty, Julie Sanchez, National Honors, Kaylee Johnson, Kayla Valdez, Kaylee Gutierrez, Christiana Martinez, National Honors, Leslie Guzman, Lisbeth Esparza, National Honors, Logan Valdez, National Honors, Marcos Romero, National Honors, Maria Orozco, Marissa Armijo, Matthew Rodriguez, National Honors, Michelle Martinez, National Honors, Maisha Velarde, National Honors, Nancy Archuleta, Natalia Teeler, National Honors, Nazarene Sanchez, Nakota Wynn, National Honors, O. Emiliano Lopez, National Honors, Patrick Martinez, National Honors, Ricardo Bustos, National Honors, Robin Gonzalez, National Honors, Rudy Valdezipino, National Honors, Sienna Lovett, Stephen Geisick, National Honors, Sydney Cordova, Tammy Maldonado, National Honors, Thomas Frawa, National Honors, Victor Prieto, Sitloli Lopez de Duarte, National Honors, Yesenia Salazar. Así no se... 
Te llevaré 